10 classic luxury items that I refuse to buy, what I purchased instead, and why I've been against buying them in this video. Now we are going to dive in at the deep end because the first classic luxury item that I refuse to buy is probably one of the most iconic pieces and one of the most highly desired in the luxury community. And this is the Chanel Classic flat bag. Hey everyone, Steph here if you are new to this channel. I love designer bags and luxury in general. I have been collecting for well over 10 years now. I have a bag collection of over 50 and I am constantly asked why I don't own a Chanel Classic flap and have never owned a Chanel Classic flap in my collection. Now there's three main reasons as to this situation. The first one is that I have accepted that the Classic flap is not really my personal style. I don't care how popular this piece is, um, I tend to gravitate more towards kind of edgier looking bags. So I prefer the Chanel boy bag over the classic flap because I feel like it's edgier. The classic flap I think looks very ladylike, quite feminine, which is beautiful in its own right. But just for my style, I don't think it works. The second reason is that you see this bag, or I definitely see this bag, a lot now. It has been around for a long time. It's kind of been the pinnacle bag from Chanel that a lot of people dream of owning one day. You know when you've kind of seen something so much, it kind of just loses its excitement when you do see one. That is where I'm at with the Chanel Classic Flap. And finally, the third reason why I don't have one and haven't had one in my collection are the price increases on this. Now, technically, um, a few years ago, before some of the really big steep price increases we've seen over the last few years on the Classic Flap, I could have purchased one then, but I still didn't again because it's not really been my style. And now, unless I found one that just really suited me and was perfect, I definitely wouldn't be paying the current prices that this bag retails for at Chanel. I think Chanel have much better bags in terms of practicality, which I'll come on to in a second, like the alternative that I purchased instead of a classic flap, that I think are just like half the price, but I think are overall better bags. And with all this being said, um, I just want to kind of reiterate, this is my reasons for not buying a classic flap. If you have one or many in your collection, if it is a bag that you absolutely love, I completely get that. Now I did recently try on, it was a sequin classic flap in like this sunset colorway. I will say that was really beautiful. And also this kind of painting, it was like an aqua one with like different blues and greens running through it. They were very beautiful, but could I justify those prices now? I am not so sure. So the alternative that I purchased instead, if you are a subscriber, you will already know the bag that I'm about to pull up. Can you guess? It is the Chanel Business Affinity. Now this bag isn't a classic bag from Chanel. Um, it is one of their more seasonal pieces. So that means some seasons they might have this bag in, in certain colorways and sizes, but they won't always have this bag in so it is a little bit harder to get your hands on. I have mine in the black caviar leather. We kind of have classic flap vibes you know we have the lock on the front we have the quilting here but I just think this is a much cuter bag and I paid so I have two of these. I have a pink one as well this is how much I like this bag and these were less than half the price of what a classic flap would cost. I don't know what these bags retail for now. For me I know I love a top handle and a cross body strap, the business affinity at half the price of the classic flap, no brainer for me. By the way, if you like any of these classic items or alternatives that I talk about in today's video, they will be linked down below in the description box for you so that you can shop this video really easily. The second classic luxury pieces that I will not be buying are any jewelry pieces from Van Cleef and Cartier. Now, I do think that these can be really beautiful. Um, I particularly like the Cartier, I believe it's the Juk bracelet, like the kind of screw that goes round. Like I think all of these pieces are really, really great, but again, they don't really go with my style. And personally, when it comes to anything, maybe like jewelry, I would prefer something that you won't see loads of other people wearing, like something unique. So I'm actually really excited because Gingerberry contacted me recently and I would like to thank them because they are sponsoring this part of today's video. They have sent me some gorgeous pieces. Speaking of unique and high quality jewelry, we are going to be opening some of these together. Now, if you haven't heard of Gingerberry, their philosophy is simple yet profound. They believe in ageless beauty. They have also given me a 15% off code, which I will flash on the screen down below for you. It is a bag 15, which will get you 15% of everything that I'm going to show you and across their entire range. Okay, now I do also have a confession to make because since this particular piece has arrived, because I just double checked that we, we received everything and it was all there, I have not taken this piece off. It is so stunning. Okay. 
here we go let me show you so in here would you look at this it is so beautiful this is the moccasino necklace in 18 karat solid gold and the way this glints is unreal now you can actually adjust this piece as well so by pulling this ball you can extend the necklace and this is what it looks like on again 18 karat solid gold and it's just really beautiful and delicate i'm actually going to stack this up now this one has to be one of the coolest pieces on the gingerberry website as soon as i saw it i was like i know i'm going to wear that so much so i have actually been stacking it up with the moccasino and this is it it is this lightning bolt which is 18 karat solid gold and it also features natural diamonds so there is two settings on the lightning bolt i have put this on the longest one and the moccasino is on the shortest so i've tightened this up a little bit and then stacked them up how incredible do these look now i think these pieces are just super cool but if you are looking for something more classic pearls are never going to let you down so i have two pearl pieces here to show you now this is the enigmatic pendant absolutely stunning it is like this pearl which you add to your pendant so for example i would probably take the lightning bolt off here and just change it to this pearl so i have another piece here which i know you guys are going to absolutely love wow look at this this is the luminaire de pro this is actually really affordable as well considering that this these are all real pearls these are six to seven mil aurora pearls and this one has 18 karat solid silver plated gold no two natural pearls will be exactly alike each of them will have their very own different shape and size and nuances which makes these pieces even more unique and beautiful now i've got two more earrings here to show you which just are so stunning one of them you can actually use three ways which make it incredible value for money again links to all of these products are down below and make sure you use your discount code for 15 percent off i will flash it down here and it will be in the description box for you okay so these two absolutely stunning earrings we have the gold up here, which is the Aphrodite earrings. And then the three in one, which I'm gonna show you how you can actually wear these three different ways, are these Wishes earrings with the pearl drops. So the Aphrodite earrings are 18 karat solid gold. They are beautifully crafted. They are ultra light and super comfy. They have solid gold open work technique to actually create these. Now the fantastic value for money wishes earrings. You can wear three ways that I'm about to show you now. These come in white gold or you can get them in yellow gold. Now you can wear the hoops on their own. So you've got hoop earrings and they have these really beautiful like diamonds round. You can wear them with the drop pearl which are nine to 10 millimeter Aurora pearls. And the third way that you can actually wear these, making them such great value for money, is you can take the pearls off and simply slide them onto a chain and you've got a pearl chain pendant. Gingerberry really have thought of everything when it comes to the Wishes earrings. Thank you so much again to Gingerberry for sponsoring this part of today's video. I am super over the moon with these really unique and just stunning pieces. Do we continue the video with these pieces on or or actually, I'm just looking at my viewfinder, do the pearls look better? I can't decide. Classic item number three that I will not be buying are Hermes Aran sandals. Um, again, I just feel like these have been so done now. Some people that really, really like this style of sandal just buy them in so many different colors. And I'm just not seeing it. I don't really know what is so special about these. Again, anything that becomes uh, really overly popular tends to then be picked up by high street brands and you kind of get like dupes, inspired pieces. And I've definitely seen a lot. So I was recently in Dune, which is a high street uh, footwear brand in the UK. And they had some uh, sandals that looked quite similar to the Iran. So for me, the appeal is not there. Now what I would buy instead, and I'm seriously considering, is the new Julia sandal from um, Hermes. I say new, I think it's been out about a year now. And this one has a leather front to it and it also has like the Kelly lock on the front of it. Now I have specifically been waiting for the Julia sandal to come out. Originally they only had the silver lock, but they have now brought it out with the gold lock. So one that I'm considering, I don't think it's going to be like as popular as the Aran sandals have been. And for that reason, that is the alternative that 
I would go for. The fourth classic luxury item that I will not be buying are the Chanel dad sandals. Now I do think these look really cool but I will not be buying them because I think other brands do this dad sandal style well and for a much better price point. So to demonstrate the alternative that I would recommend here is actually a pair of sandals that I already have and these are, I'll link them down below from Fendi. So like Fendi dad sandals, they're basically the exact kind of same layout, but they have the Fendi Zucker print here, like all ruched up, kind of like a scrunchy fabric. They are Velcro and these are also like an ergonomic design. So when you put your foot in them and you wear them all day, I'm not sure if you can see on the camera, but they're not flat. Okay, so they are super comfortable. I have worn these around London like all day and had absolutely no issues. I love them so much. Now these are about a third of the price of the Chanel dad sandals. And I like that the Zucker print isn't as in your face as the CC logo from Chanel. The fifth classic luxury item that I will not be buying and I've never been attracted to these but I know they're so popular. It is the Valentino rock stud sandals. These were popular a few years ago. They seem to be kind of coming back. I do hear people talking about them. And some people saying that these are classic luxury items. I personally don't think that they are. I don't know why, I've just never really liked the studs on them. I think they look great on certain people, but for me, I don't know what it is. I just don't really think they are classic. I don't think they are maybe as timeless as some people think they are. So the alternative, and there's a slight caveat to this, um, I have some Christian Louboutin Pigalle Foley's here in black suede. Oops. And for me, these are classic and timeless. Now they aren't the most comfortable shoes. Uh, once I've worn them for a while, I've worn these quite a few times now. These are definitely a lot more comfortable than they were. Um, they go with any outfit with them being black. The heels aren't too high. This is the 100 mil heel height. And for me, this is a classic luxury piece that I can really get on board with. We have the red sole, so they are recognizable, but they aren't too in your face. The rock stud, I just think, are definitely not as timeless as something like this is. Classic item number six that I will not be buying is the Gucci Marmont bag. Um, I have had the Marmont belt and I sold it maybe, I wanna say like six to 12 months ago now, something like that. And I feel like Gucci Marmont has kind of had its moment, so where we've got the Gigi on the front. I've seen so many of the Marmont bag now. My alternative that I have personally decided to go for, I think this is quite a similar style of bag, is from Saint Laurent. So this is quite a popular bag from Saint Laurent, but I think it's popular for good reason. I think it's just a really simple design. And I don't know about you guys, I just prefer it to the Gucci Marmont. I actually think these bags are better quality than the Marmont as well. The leather is really beautiful. Um, I have this actually in two different colors. Let me grab my other one from over here. So this is in the Cinnamon suede, and this is the vintage Blanc, so the white color. I like this bag so much. These are both the small size, and I don't know, I just feel they're a little bit more timeless. We do have the logo on the front, and yeah, I do see this bag, but I definitely don't see it around quite as much as the Gucci Marmont bag. Okay, we are going to change to the pearls because I think they go better with this dress, and by the way, guys, this is also like fully adjustable here. I'm gonna have it on the tightest setting, yeah. Okay, I think that looks better. Classic item number seven, another one from Gucci. These are the Gucci B trainers. Now I remember, so these were super popular a few years ago now. And I remember going into a local supermarket when these were at the height of their popularity and seeing about two or three pairs of the exact same trainers, like people just absolutely loving them. Now these do come in some really cool designs. Like obviously you've got the B on the side and you can actually get ones with like, I've seen at Vista Village one with like a cat on the front. You can get like a lightning bolt, you can get lips. And I think some of these are actually pretty cool. However, I find Gucci as a fashion house. Um, sometimes it can be with their designs and colorways quite garish. I don't know if there's anything wrong with that, but for my personal style, I prefer something much more simple that is going to really stand the test of time a bit longer. So the alternative that I have decided to go for instead of the Gucci B trainers are the Hermes day sneakers. If you saw my Hermes unboxing recently. Now these have the rose gold like Kelly Lock on the front of them and yeah they are super simple they are just a plain white really great quality leather sneaker and maybe they aren't kind of as cool as the Gucci B sneakers because they are way more low-key like they don't have like a big brand on here but for me these are going to stand the test of time like I can see 
myself wearing these in 10 years time like no issue whereas the Gucci I definitely feel is more trend led so for me uh, these definitely made more sense and I will not be adding the Gucci B sneakers to my collection. Luxury item number eight is definitely a classic this is the Burberry trench coat now you can get these in so many different colorways and it's generally the trench coat and they have the Burberry check inside you can get the check in like the collar I think these are really great classic items, but I have decided not to get one, mostly because I don't really suit a trench coat so much. I actually prefer like pea coats, for example, and wrap coats without all the buttons on. I just like those more like simple minimalistic designs when it comes to my coats. And this also leads me on nicely to item number nine, which is a Maximara Teddy coat. Now I have seen these Maximara Teddy coats. You can also get the wrap coats in person. They are fantastic quality. Now you can get Maximara, Maximara Weekend, I believe it is, which is a, a cheaper line from them, or you can go full Maximara, which is their main line. Um, these are much more expensive if you do go down this route, but they use better quality fabrics. Now for me, um, I actually have the Camilla wrap coat from El Capini, and I just think the quality of these coats are amazing. Uh, so I have these in my collection already, and I definitely don't feel the need to add a Burberry trench to my collection ever, or a Maximara Teddy or wrap coat. Even though they are classics, I do think if you look kind of outside those big brands, you can still get the great quality, but for a much cheaper price tag. So I will link to my El Capini coat and the other ones that I've mentioned down below. And finally, classic item number 10 that I will not be buying. And I have tried my hardest to like this bag. I really have. There's just something about this design that doesn't speak to me personally. This is the Fendi baguette bag. Now this is quite an iconic bag. Um, I'm thinking sex in the city here with like the purple sequins. I have recently tried on the baguette bag in like a chocolate kind of color, like a mocha chocolate sequins. I thought that was really beautiful and also like this fluffy shearling one which again I thought was pretty cool I don't know what it is I think it's a buckle on the front I feel like this design I don't know it it's quite retro feeling to me and I prefer much more like modern design. So the Fendi First, for example, is a bag that I will choose over the baguette, despite the fact that the baguette bag is probably the most iconic design from Fendi. And I think instead of the baguette, I don't know what it is, I just prefer more kind of satchel style bags. So I love my Mulberry Mini Alexa, full leather bag for um, nearly a third of the price of a baguette and I just prefer the lock and style of this more. Uh, my Louis Vuitton Lock Me Ever Mini here, I just love this and for that kind of shoulder bag effect if I was to go down this route I would actually look at the Tokyo bag from Demelia. So I recently tried one of these on. Uh, they retail at under £400 in the UK. Worldwide shipping, duties included, I will link to them down below. Um, I tried on a black one with like all these like specks of glitter on. I just think these look so modern, so cool, are a fraction of the price, and they just feel a little bit different. Again, like a lot of these pieces that I've talked about in this video, because they have become such cool classics, they end up becoming a victim of their own success because you just end up seeing them in quite a few places. Testament to the item and how classic and popular they are. Um, but if you're anything like me, I actually prefer more unique pieces. Thank you so much again to Gingerberry for sponsoring today's video. I'm absolutely in love with my pieces. Guys, make sure you use my discount code for 15% off the entire range. It is bag 15. Everything that I showed you will be linked down below. And they also have just some fantastically unique pieces that I really recommend checking out. Now make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next I'll link my latest video release here for you and over here the 11 best quiet luxury bags if you are looking for something more subtle and not as in your face. Enjoy!